Wing Guardian Leviosa. You need to be more excited than that. That was too over the top. Do it again. Four, four, no. Three, three, two. One minute lateral, and then you drop the ball like this, and it seriously burns. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually editing this vlog that you're watching right now and I realized I never made an intro. So just quickly, as you can tell by the title of this video, this is my Pilates vlog, like making the new Pilates room in our new house that we're renovating. It wasn't always going to be a Pilates room. Originally, this bedroom was gonna be a spare room. Kurt and I kind of agreed that this spare room was gonna be a junk room. Like, you know when you have that one room of the house that you don't actually use every single day and you end up just like storing boxes is there and like yeah it just ends up being a hoarding room so just for the lols I was kind of like hey we should make it into a Pilates studio and put like a reformer Pilates machine there and do stretches and do yoga and I was totally expecting him to be like no that's really lame like let's make it a boxing room but to my surprise and my sheer enjoyment and excitement he was keen he was like yeah this is a great idea but anyway, as you can see, the original room format is just like this navy, dark, almost black carpet and just plain white walls. So I wanted to transform it into a really calming, fresh and beautiful Pilates space. So yeah, that's really all you need to know to get into the vlog. It has come the time pretty much that I can order my Pilates machine. Riley, are you going to come do Pilates in here? If you teach me how to do it, I'll do it. 100%. Do you know what I'm doing in here? I'm doing a full wall of mirrors, V, you know, V groove paneling to make it pretty. Oh. Possibly a ballet bar here, a big reformer machine, you know those yeah. ones, the slideys, and then just floorboard here with like a mat. <laughs> That's just one mat? <laughs> well, while you're on the mat, I'm on the reformer, mm -hmm. and then we swap. What happens if we both want to be on the mat? And we share the mat. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're doing this. <laughs> this is my trading time. I need yeah. the Where's tape measure. Tape? All right. Do you know how you use it? I know how to use it. Look, you do this and then you go stay there. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to roughly work out what was it? Four, four, no. Three, three, two meters. How much? How big? Roughly three meters. Is there a four? Ooh, baby, that's big. How long is that? And three meters. That's three meters. Basically, I'm picking between two Pilates machines. They're both bougie, but one's like awesome and wooden and like big. Kind of bulky, but like so beautiful. And the other one has metal on it. Not as beautiful, but like super functional and very practical. So I need to go get my phone, Google them, and then pick the one I want. So I'm getting it from a place called Orbit Fitness because the Pilates studio that I go to, like classes, this is the stuff they use. And out of all of them I've used, these are my favorite and I think the most streamlined. So this is like the bougie one, but I don't know if it's gonna be too big. Or this one, which is like a bit more streamlined. Okay, this is really loud. All right, the small one is 235 by 66. Okay, whoa, I was so wrong. So the small one is this long, perfect. What's with all these weird bearded men in touch with you? beards. Hey, Bridgie. What the heck? He's in the floor. Going under? Says I think you need an under, under house tour for your Oh, hell. <laughs> Yeah, you can take it. Take your camera. You <laughs> I'll just wait for you to relay the information, but I don't even know. <laughs> I think right. we need to get stuck into it. Yeah, all right, we're done. Just gonna prep the subfloor right now, just making sure it's nice and clean. Cause we're gonna put like an adhesive on the ground and then we're gonna lay the floorboards on top of that. We're building again. We're building. <laughs> it's happening. No more demo. No more demo. We're putting it back together. <laughs> it's all clear. <laughs> And we're just stringing up for our first board right now. So run a string line out. We're running it 450 out from the wall. And then we're gonna run our first board on this side of the line, make it nice and straight. And then I've sacrificed one of the boards and we're using them as packers to pack along the line of the first board and keep it nice and straight so that when we like hitting everything up against it, it's not moving, it's staying in place. We are down to measuring up the last piece. Just the infill at the end here. Looking good. 
It looks bloody great, mate. Yeah, that's it. The final piece is going in. Yeah, the boys. <laughs> Just got to do the two boards over the far end, but it's pretty well done. Let it set overnight. How yeah. good! It looks good, mate. We did well. The Pilates room is beginning. All right, we're not meant to be walking on it, so you better get off. Actually, a lot harder than I expected. I'm having to go through with the paintbrush and like do each line individually just to get the paint in there and then go over with the roller. So it's been challenging, but it looks good. Last day of painting today, but it looks good. Says he's gonna love it. One more coat in the morning and then we'll bring in the bed. All right, the room is finally painted today and we are getting the reformer bed in. Sarah's gonna lose it, she's gonna love this. Fresh coat of paint, you can't beat a fresh coat of paint. It just looks so much better, this room. I don't know if you can sort of tell in the background there. It just looks so much cleaner. We went for a um, enamel-based paint along all the architraves and the door jams and the skirting board. It just sort of pops a little bit more. It's like a semi-gloss, gives it a little bit more of a shine, make it stand out from the wall a little bit. How good's that? I've just gotta order some mirrors for over here. So the Pilates bed is from Orbit Fitness. We've got a pink kettlebell for Sezzy. Um, I don't know what you call this thing, but you know, it goes between your legs. Squeeze it, that thing. Sarah's got two blocks. It's got an exercise wheel, ankle straps. We're also getting the jump plate for the Pilates bed. Oh, what's that? That looks cool. This is awesome. Looks so good. And the, like, I love the timber color in here. It's just so nice. It's gonna look good when this is all done, when we've got like a plant in here, we've got the mirrors on the wall. It's gonna look like a proper studio, man. It's gonna be sick. All right, this is the moment of truth. Don't look yet. I wanna go in and get your reaction, okay? All right, go, Sezzy. I was expecting. I was expecting you to be more excited than that. But I've been seeing the progress. It looks amazing. A lot of sweat and tears for nothing. I know, right? <laughs> All that hard work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Round two. Thank you very much. <gasps> no, that was too over the top. Do it again. <gasps> oh my god. Ah, oh, that's good. We got Foxy <laughs> smiling too. <laughs> Where? Oh, that screw that we put in. There's ones there and there, yeah, Riley. So that's a stopper. Oh, uh, put so in that one. So it depends on how tall you are. Yay! Woo! So when you do stuff like this, you can do like ab stuff. Well, actually, it's not normally there. It's on the outside here. But that's okay. Pick that one up. It's 10 kilos. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on, pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, you can get attention to oh, me, Sabi. Nice. <laughs> Fox is having the time of his life over here. Alright, we need to get back to work, so you need to leave sight. No, just yes. I'm No, because we've got nail guns and stuff going off. It's not quite work at the moment. This afternoon. Yeah, well done. Yep, get back 
back in there, go on. And then you just hide from the Oh, good hide! Do you want to hide somewhere else? Yeah. 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 So for the past like two weeks, I haven't been able to use the Pilates room. Before that, I was using it every single week. But the renderers, painters, the painters and the jip rockers were in there. So I went in there the other day to use the Reforma Pilates machine. And there was just like white dust and paint everywhere. So it's just been unusable. So we're going to go to the house and check it out. And I'm going to make a little game plan of how I want to design the rest of the room, it's not going to be completely finished until like four weeks because the joiners have to come in and like build the cupboards. Do you want to yeah. go? Yeah. Yeah. So the words we have so far is yeah, no, mum, dad. Yeah. What? Do you want to go to the new house? He always like stares outside or like points outside if he wants to go outside. Are you playing with mummy's hair? Oh. Yeah. Would you like to go to the Pilates room? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a nice cuddle. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Who's that? I got lots to do. Okay. <laughs> uh, feels like just the other day I was standing there explaining that I was going to make this a Pilates room. Yes, I remember. And we were, remember we were measuring and deciding where, where we we're going to have the big one or the little one. Let's organize this. Let's make it look like cute. I love this wall though. It looks you yeah, and no her. Worries. You and no her. Worries, no. Such a good job. So today's plan, it's obviously kind of just like a storage room at the moment because they had to just plonk all the stuff there while they painted the walls and jip rocked everything. But today I'm going to make the layout and like create the vibe. How to not full tape? Sure. That you need to do it like this, because otherwise you can like catch on things or something. My dad would always say, "Oh, see, see, see." <laughs> see? Uh, oh, <laughs> vlogging yeah. on what? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Honestly, like we clean it. And then the next day, it's disgusting because this is all outside the Pilates room. As soon as you put one step on there. You come back in here, and this happens. Here's my thing. When I was looking before, I thought I wanted an artwork there, but now I'm thinking if I get a big enough palm, like a big enough plant there, then I don't really need artwork. So this is the basket I had in the corner with the palm. So I'll go and get the palm, and we'll see if we still vibe the basket. So this is the palm I currently have that's going to go in that room, but I kind of, like, I want a massive one. And I tried to make a Pinterest, like a mood board of what I wanted the room to look like, but I just didn't find anything that I actually was, like, vibing with. So I'm just kind of making this room up from scratch. I just, I don't want to have an artwork there because it will look like a room of the house, like it will look homey, and I want it to look more like a studio, like a yoga studio or Pilates studio. And the ones that I go to, it's more like, just like a beautiful room with like greenery and mats and no artwork. Do you know what I mean? I don't want it to look like a house. I kind of hope it looks too small so I get to buy a huge one. Like massive. Tactile cat. Yeah, no. Sorry. I don't know if I'm going to buy it. What? Twice. Twice in a row. Sorry. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm buying this. What do you think? No, that's the best part of it. You like that? Yeah. I don't know, but it will look so much different when I have like floor to ceiling, linen curtains all the way up here in like a sand colour. I'll insert a photo here. That will look sick. And then this whole wall is going to be mirrors, but this one's there for now, but our joiner is going to come and put mirrors like literally on the wall. So you're not putting mirrors on the Vigor wall? No, no mirrors there. But I could get an arch. I could get an arch mirror there. That's a good idea. Just to like have something else or even like, that's a good idea. A timber arch. 
mirror, and then mirrors all there. That's a good idea. I think the arch could look good. Earthy and yogurt. <gasps> You've just solved my problem. This is a vibe. Alright, I'm going to tidy the rest. We've run into some controversy now. I've brought Kurt into the room to show him the masterpiece. That is the future arch mirror, the palm. No arch mirror. No arch mirror? What do you mean? No, you're going to have a full wall of mirror. You don't need a secondary mirror. It's not about the mirror. It's just like, I just feel like the artwork, it's going to look like it's a house. I want it to look like a it studio. It is a house. No. part of my life and Kurt's life and I mean I assume Fox's life in the future but who really knows so we have two sections of the house that are pretty much dedicated to fitness downstairs in the garage that's more like the weights and the equipment and like cardio yeah more just like strength and cardio and this is more so like a Pilates stretching yoga room but even though it's not finished, I've been filming a lot in this room and people have been saying, oh my gosh, show us the room, like what's in there? How do you use that machine? Because I've been using the Pilates reformer like every week. I have three different mats for different types of yoga. That sounds really bougie and it kind of is, but one of them is for hot yoga. So it's really good if you're sweating. One of them is for stretching. Another one is kind of for my guests because if like my sister comes over and we train together, I want to have multiple mats that people can use. So this one I just got out at the moment. This is Orbit Fitness, which is where we got all of our equipment. During COVID, like during social distancing, it was so hard to get your hands on any equipment. So we pretty much got everything from there. The Pilates machine is from there. Yeah, pretty much everything's from Orbit Fitness. And then I've got a Pilates ring. I, oh my gosh, you guys, I love this so much. I'll show you how I use it. So I mostly use this for my inner thighs. You can put it on the outside. But I prefer a band for that. Just above my kneecaps in my inner thighs. Squeeze your legs together like that. So that's me relaxed. This is me squeezing together. And I'll just do like a variation of hip thrusts. And you can go on your toes and do hip thrusts. Crunches while trying to squeeze the ring together. There's heaps of stuff you can do with this. I actually did an epic Pilates class last week. I go to the loft Pilates and bar and the whole class was with this ball. So this is just a squishy Pilates ball from Orbit Fitness again. And she did the whole thing with it pretty much behind one leg at a time. So if you do one minute like this, one minute lateral, and then you drop the ball and you do one minute like this and it seriously burns. Oh, you can leave it in your inner thighs and do some squats. You can pulse, 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 pulse. There's so much stuff you can do with this ball. And again, I will use this on the reformer as well. This is the really big one. At my class, like when I go do classes, they have this same brand, but the smaller one, and it's still just as good. I just like the wood of the big one. A green, red, and a blue spring. So you change the springs depending on how heavy or how intense you want it. And I'll put my heels on the bar and I'll just do some leg presses and I'll pulse down the bottom, going up onto your toes. So do straight. My favorite is legs in straps. So I put my feet in the big loops and you zip your legs together and it really gets the inner thighs going. And then you can reverse it. There's seriously so much you can do on this thing. Oh, okay, I'm getting hot now. I also love using this box. So this doesn't come with the reformer, you have to add it on, but I use it pretty much every single session. Then I usually go to something like this, like legs and straps, because I just find it nice and like flowy, and it's different, and it's fun, because like, when do you get to do this, you know? Do what I did with the ball. Oh, how beautiful is that lighting? Okay, one that I love, my camera's about to die. Reformer lunges, they just feel so good. You just get such a deep stretch. And then you can even kick the leg back. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited for this to be done, I can't even tell you. 
Yeah, I've just been showing this room so much in my Insta stories and on Instagram and even my activewear haul that I was like, I really need to officially show you guys around this room. But I will do a completed room tour once that cabinet is done. When I have like the sandy linen blind all across there, I think it's just gonna like soften up the room a lot because it's like, as we can hear, it's really echoey, it's a bit hard. I can already see it now. I can, I can feel my comment section. I can feel the comments saying, get an artwork, get an artwork, do this artwork. You need three artworks in a row. We're having so much artwork in the house and to me that represents like rooms and like lounge rooms and bedrooms and studies and offices. This room, I just want this room to be really basic and beautiful and white and crisp and I don't know, I love it. I think once it's mirror and the blinds and maybe I swap that to an arch mirror, I think it'll be perfect. But we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. I hope you guys are enjoying our renovation series. Make sure you give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the rooms or the transformations because it's like a few weeks and then the whole house is done. I can't wait to see the kitchen. That's gonna be the biggest change of all. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.